Our next guest uh, is in the top eight of a major, uh, and his name is Major. So Major, come join us. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Thank there you, you go, guys. mate. Now, um, I just sat down with this man for an hour and a half the other day. So yes. I might let the question start with you two. I heard that the, the watch parties you have have sold out again. Yeah, uh, first of all, I welcome everyone. And sorry for my English, uh, first of all. I will Stop do my best. That. Your English <laughs> so, is great. So yeah, there is a watch party in Turkey. There will be, again, uh, we're going to play Navi. And there is three uh, watch party incoming in three city, uh, different city. One in Istanbul, one in Ankara, and one in Izmir. So I hope it's going to be great again. How many people? Uh, it was like uh, some, some crazy number, no? Maybe five k in total now with free city. Mm. Uh, I hope uh, they say it's sold out, so I think uh, it's gonna be full everywhere. That's like half the Royal Arena, man. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, right? That's yeah. pretty. Yeah, Turkish uh, fans is really fanatic. They really love Counter Strike extra, so yeah. I just I just wanted to say Thorin's not here, so he doesn't have to be worried about his language. <laughs> I love Thorin. <laughs> 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 Trying to kill him with kindness, I, I, I saw. I respect. It. Honestly, that was one of the best responses to like a Thorin tweet from a, from a pro player. It's so safe. Like there's nothing to actually be upset about. Trying to de-escalate the situation. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, have a good time. Sorry, sorry if I offended you. Move on, you know. Honestly, I think it's just uh, your your story is actually crazy. Like everything that you went through in your career. I think the the latest year or two years coming back from going to Valorant, coming back, then retiring again in CS. This whole like weird situation that happened in like Eternal Fire, where you were like removed twice almost, right? Yeah. For you to be now here in the playoffs of a major. I think playoffs are a major are a achievement where it's not, sometimes it can be a fluke. I think with, like the, with the current setup that we have, it's really hard to fluke and just be like, oh, I'm, I'm in the playoffs of the major and I'm not the deserving team. So I just want to, first of all, congratulate you on this. I think it's fucking amazing. Thank you, thank you bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. But can you can you break down a bit like what happened? How, how does this team come back together? Because like you were removed, Woxic was removed, and then somehow you're you're again like playing in what is the best Turkish team? There is a lot of down uh, in these two years. Like uh, I guess uh, I was kicked, then I go to Verulam, then I come back, etc. But I think uh, as a person in individual, I, I never give up. Like I always believe in my heart that I can show uh, we can show a Turkish uh, a Turkish team again in the top, like we did in Space Soldier. But in Space Soldier, we missed it, uh, an AVP player in this time. Like we didn't play with an AVP, so. I knew inside of me when I was playing with Space Soldiers that we're going to go somewhere, but we're going to stop there because you can't really be a, a T1 team without an AVP. Like, it's my opinion. But this time, like, I don't know. I, I didn't give up. I work hard. There is a lot of done. Like you said, I was kick. I come back. Uh, but in the end, I'm very happy that we are here today and we play good Counter Strike because the most important things for me is playing good Counter Strike. Like, never. It doesn't matter you win or you lose because you're going to lose every time. It's part of the job. Uh, you, you lose and you win. You need to learn of that. But I'm very happy today that uh, we, did it, uh, we did this top eight of the major. And obviously, I'm just watching step by step. Like, obviously, the goal is to win it, but step by step. I think there is, like you said, guys, there is eight teams, seven teams, uh, very good teams. Everyone can win this major. So we will see, like... You said it yourself, like Turkish people, very passionate. Yeah. Uh, and going back to the whole space order situation, that was you're playing without an AWP because Woxic didn't want to play with you guys for whatever reason. There was some bad blood, maybe Zantaris and him. No, no, there is not bad blood. There is a lot of details, but I think uh, we didn't have the chance to meet. One yeah. times we have, but uh, he prefer to play uh, with I think Hellraiser. Hellraiser like at this. the time, yeah. I but think. Also, from outside, there is a problem uh, maybe with the boss of Space Soldiers he didn't want extra. So, yeah, the well, fate. How did you thing. bury the hat? Like, was there any hatchet to be buried now after you b being kicked and bring brought you back in? Or was it just like business? Like, I think it's just business. We're playing professional uh, games and now uh, uh, being kicked, I think it's part of the job. Uh, just from my perspective, my point of view, they bring me like uh, well, the first time when they bring me in Eternal Fire, Eternal Fire, like I have three months to prepare for the major and USL Pro League, like everything was fast. And as a leader, like uh, I have my playbook since a long time, I, I, I changed my playbook, etc. So when I came, I didn't have time to put uh, all my playbooks, etc. because it's important for a leader from my perspective. Uh, to have a playbook with the player I have. It's like playing poker, like I have, a, I have four cards. Uh, every player is different. 
So I need to make my playbooks with the player's qualities I have. That's important for me. And this time I understand that all the playbook I had, all the tactics, it was not very good with the players I had in this time with Eternal Fire. So I had to switch a, a little exterior, so I didn't have a lot of time. And in three months, uh, we did what we can do. Well, like I think we, we did the best I can in three months. And from their perspective, they, they say like the problem maybe was me. And that's the only things I say to them. I say, like, I, you only give me three months, maybe give me more, and it will be better. But all good, I didn't have any things inside of me because I, I came back. And my only goal is to make uh, a Turkish team great again in eSport because Turkish eSports never be really big in the industry. And it's something sad for me because we have a lot of fans, like you said, extra, so they were really patient. So my goal is for the future, for the coming players, for the people, I want to change the mind because even me, when I play professionally, I go to my village in Turkey and they say, oh, you play video games, you stop playing video games, you need to work, man, you're a man, you need to work, you can't play video games. So what is important for me is to change this mind to people in Turkey. And I hope today uh, go we are in top eight major, maybe I don't know what will happen, but the main goal is to change the mentality of we have in Turkey and maybe for the future generation, they can be proud of that to playing video games because it's not something shameful to play video games and win this game. Like I prefer my f my son to play video games than going outside and doing some shit. Like so, <laughs> uh, so it's important to change the minds of people here. And my only goal is that like I try my best to do that. That's all. So what changed? I mean, like you came back. Was it like a month later after you got kicked? So yes. It was super quick, right? What changed from that? Yeah, I think Turkish people just took decision too much fast with okay. emotion, with earth. I think this is the only issue we have. Like we, we try to take decision really fast. Yeah, they, they called me back because they changed uh, the coach. Fabric come back and Fabric, Fabric called me. He said, like, I really like you. I never worked with you, but I would like working with you extra. So it was a big part of my uh, joining back here. And then I accept for Turkish for myself also, because in this time, like I was in Valorant. I was really unhappy with Valorant and I have still the, the fire inside of me after they kicked me in SL Pro League because we show also good results in SL Pro League. So inside of me, I have the fire and I wanted to accept. I don't have, uh, like, the, like you said in English, the ash inside of me. I didn't have uh, this anger inside of me. I don't have also this in my life. So I did my best and when I come back, I give everything I have. I still, I'm still giving everything I have. Like.